Yes. Hi guys, happy first day of fall. It is September 22nd, and we had an excellent day. Amazing. For once. Amazing. We went to Halloween stores and all stores that carry Halloween items for the season, and it was fucking awesome. We got a whole, I got a whole bunch of shit. Uh, I was broke, so. I'll got a whole bunch later. of stuff, got some pumpkin spice lattes, met some cool people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm thirsty now. Mm. My head's oh. uh. It's raining, too. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Yeah. So, I don't know, should I show them what I got? Yeah, why not? Oh, nothing. That was nothing. Um, I'm just start with these little fuckers. I got these two guys. I didn't know you got those. Was that from uh, before? Yeah. Ah, look at that. I'm just going to hang them on my walls or whatever. I'm hanging skulls. I'm going to call them Scully. <laughs> what? This guy... His name is, he has a lot of names. His name is either Steve, Franklin, Frank, or Jeff. Ah, boy, oh, I, I hear the rain. He looks like a Jeff. Oh, no, he's like... Hello. How are you? Um, this is two of my favorite things. I got five dollars altogether. Oh, did you hear that noise? Yeah. Stay scary and R.I.P. And that's actually, like, really in peace. They have weight on them. They're, like, heavy. Okay, that's that. And today, I got this a few days ago. I got this cool skull you guys see many times in videos, probably. I don't know what his name is. My name might be Jack. Maybe Jack the Ripper. Alright. Here. Oh, my God. Is there a hole in between his teeth? Yeah. Where is that? Really? Yeah. Oh. Alright. the fuck is this? Oh. Uh, I got candles from next to my Nosferatu poster, my holders. I'll show you that later. Um, that was from Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah. We ate free samples. Like old. Those pretzels were delicious. Apple cinnamon glade. <laughs> you look, it spilled on my sock, and it's really, it's really hot now. Oh yes, fuck yes, that shit. All right. And then we got these two. I'm gonna call them. I don't know what I'm gonna call them. You guys name these guys for me. Jekyll and Hyde. Oh, two for five. Like those. I like Jekyll and Hyde. Do I get anything else? Oh, dog food. <laughs> uh, right. Wait. Wait. And did you take pictures? What? Did you take pictures? Yeah, I got other things. I'm gonna read you my wish list from all the stores we went to. Mostly it's from a call, store called State Fair in Belleville, New Jersey. Not like you guys will be there. It's honestly. pretty much like this, like a seasonal superstore. That like during the summer they'll sell pool supplies, Christmas like Christmas decorations, and the Halloween time they have it's like a Halloween warehouse. It's awesome, and they have this really cool Halloween attraction that's like state uh, scare. It's like a like a haunted house type thing. I went last year with my um, never been there. with my friend, and uh, it was really awesome. We got peed on. Like this guy like had like a fake thing, and he like peed on us, but it was real pee. It's awesome. I think I might have mentioned that in the video. In the all right, I'm going to tell you right. all the things I saw that I really wanted. Halloween wish list. Skeleton pumpkin light. It was like a, a skeleton looking thing, but it was, it was a, yeah, it was a pumpkin, uh, but like a skeleton, and it was like, had around its legs, it had a candle, like you hold a candle in there, like a little one. A ray, I called the ray, I just was like what I call them. A raven grave candle holder, like a raven on top of a grave, which held a candle. I thought it was a crow. Same fucking thing. A pumpkin tree. Remember that? It was like a big tree, like Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, like with like pumpkins hanging from it? With pumpkins hanging from it. Uh, scream lawn things. Like the things that you stick in the lawn, but it was all ghost face. They, they were like steaks with like ghost face on them. You know, like uh, how sometimes they're like the candy cane ones, except it was ghost face instead of a candy cane. Uh, a sign that said morgue. It was like $3, $4. You put like that like, there. Uh, yeah. There was a, oh, there was a hanging vampire thing. There's another thing. A vampire, like, hanging, Dracula-looking thing. It hangs, like, kind of like my skulls. But it's, it looked just like Jerry Dandridge. Did I say that right? Yeah. From, uh, Fright Night, obviously. Good movie. When he, when he, like, when he first transformed. 
And there was a huge, I mean, huge 12-foot pumpkin thing, like Sleepy Hollow type that shit. That thing was awesome. It was 12 feet. That was amazing. $140. Not bad. Worth All right. It. At Bed Bath & Beyond, or this might have been a... Uh, where do we see the placemats and shit? That was Bed Bath. Uh, they had, like, placemats of, like, uh, of cobwebs. Not cobwebs. Spider webs. And then I had two, like, little skull holders of, uh, for candles. And, uh, like, for, like, little Yankee candles. I want to get those. They're seven bucks each. Um, what else? What else? We didn't bore you to death yet. Um, what else? And Home Goods, we saw a lot of, like, goth Halloween skull, fern, like, china and placemats and, like, tablecloths. It was really awesome. When we get our own places, we'll probably get those. Right. Roommates. Yeah, a whole bunch of awesome shit. What else we talk about? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I tried on a legit Spider-Man outfit. It was, like, made of this, like, uh... Not necessarily the same material used for the actual suit, because that would be a lot of money. But it was, like, uh... They were kind of, like, uh... I don't know if you guys... You guys are a lot older than us, but, like, when you guys were younger, they had, like, kickballs made of that rubbery material. It was, like, a thinner of that, and it was awesome feeling. Yeah, like, you, like, literally go in the suit. Like, you, like... It's like has all the way, like in the like you step in it, like it has like you don't. It's not like things that go over your boots or anything. Like it's not like, like unattached gloves. It was all like, like one like piece. You go in, and we only couldn't we couldn't try the mask though, but other than that, it was really awesome. It was two hundred dollars. Bane mask. Oh yeah, tried on a Bane mask. It's pretty much it. Sun shower, rain, blast of misfits in the car, Rob Zombie, Marshall Snow White. Their new song. You like to think that we are the Okay. Uh, yeah. Pretty much our day. We're gonna watch a horror movie now. What should we watch? Let us know. We're probably gonna pick something before you tell us, but. Oh, what else? I have another. I'm a talk. I'm very talkative today. Yeah, I'm the quiet one. That's weird. Um, I have a question for you guys. What should I be for Halloween? These are my ideas so far. Beetlejuice. A vampire with like, I think that more like a Bill Ghosty type outfit, but like more of like a Lost Boy's face, like with like the piece and like you put makeup over like it. The prosthetics. Yeah, like, like what contacts and stuff, the fangs, stuff. Should I be all right, Freddy, or Jason, or should I be Marilyn Manson? I th I'm thinking about Marilyn Manson because like that'll be Manson. most creative. Cause like I could get like the contact, the top hat. I could just like the smell of, like children era. You know what I'm saying? See now, what I want to be following, I've wanted to be Michael Myers since I was like seven years old. I just never was him. I don't want that mask. I want I want the nice the nice mm -hmm. clean white mm -hmm. ones. And then if I'm not gonna be him, I'm main I'm most likely gonna be a gothic modern era era vampire. I'm gonna have like nice pale face, bangs and just my usual attire. And I'll probably have like a Kind of like how my face paint was Not last year, like kind of like a, a crow, like a better crow because I know how to do it now. I watched a video on how to do it. My face won't be gray; it'll be white. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. Unless you have to say anything else. Thirty-one days of horror him too. This October, from October first to October thirty-first, we're going to be reviewing thirty-one horror movies. And not the cliche ones. We're not going to spend 31 days reviewing Halloween 1 through 9 or 8. Hall yeah, Halloween like Maybe we'll do one episode of all of them. We'll do one episode of all the Halloweens, one episode of all the Fridays, all the Nightmares, etc. We're going to do a We're going to do a whole bunch of horror movies that not that aren't reviewed that much, like uh, like Silence of the Lambs, Trigger Treat, Trigger Treat, Trigger Treat Stephen King's Ed. Like the stuff that's not reviewed every day by all of you guys. Not saying that your reviews are bad, but I'm saying... Everybody reviews the same movies around Halloween time. We're going to try to differ away from that. But we're still going to keep it in the horror slasher genre, vampire, death, die. I want to die. I want to die. I am. I am. Yeah, we're in control. All right. Have a good night.